Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 31 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam or the first paper, so keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. And today we're going to be focused on the topic of rates of change. So if you've got the Core Maths Revision cards, card number 70 on rates of change will be really useful for you. So today we're going to be looking at rates of change. There'll be some questions for you to watch and to follow as I go through, and I'll ask you to think about some of the questions as I do them. But also in this video, because it's rates of change, you might need to be drawn tangents to the curves and things like that. I'd highly recommend looking at the practice questions today and they're in the description below. And if you can print those and do them, that'll be really useful as well. So let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question. Here we've got a graph and it shows the depth of some water in a container over six seconds. So at the start, whenever the container is full, there's just over 12 centimetres of water in the container. And over the six seconds, the water, the depth of the water decreases and decreases until eventually it's zero. So that means that obviously it's empty at the end of six seconds. And the question says, estimate the rate of change of the depth of water at three seconds. So to do a question like this, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a tangent. So we're going to draw a tangent at time equals three seconds. So where time is equal to three seconds, we'll draw a tangent to the curve. And then we'll find the gradient of that tangent, and then that'll be our estimate for the rate of change of the depth. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, I've marked on the curve whenever time is equal to three. So whenever time is equal to three, this is the depth, and I'll draw a tangent to the curve at that particular point. Now that's my tangent. Your tangent may be slightly different, and whenever the examiners are marking this, they understand that the steepness may vary slightly, so there'll be a range of possible answers that you can have, so that's fine. So as long as you draw a decent tangent, that'll be fine. So here's our tangent. Now to estimate the rate of change of the depth of water and we now need to calculate the gradient of this straight line this tangent so to find the gradient of this straight line we're going to choose two points on the line so i'm going to choose this point here this is quite a nice point five eight so five eight's on the, the line on that tangent so five eight that's one particular point on the tangent and i'm going to choose this point here and this point here is the point one and let's get its height so we've got one two three little lines above 12 now from zero to two there's five lines two divided by five would be 0 0.4 so that'd be 12 12.4 12.8 13.2, so that'll be 13.2. So we've got our two points on the tangent. We've got the point 1, 13.2, and 5, 8. Now we just need to do our little right angle triangle. So let's do our little right angle triangle. So in terms of the run, the run, we're going from 1 to 5, so the run is 4. Okay, so that's the run. Now in terms of the rise, well, we're going down. This tangent's obviously going to have a negative gradient. So in terms of its rise, it's going downwards, and it's going from high to 13.2, down to 8, so it's going to be a rise of minus 5.2. It's going down 5.2. So in terms of the gradient of this tangent, it'll be M is equal to rise over run. The rise is equal to minus 5.2. The run is equal to 4. So if we do minus 5.2 divided by 4, that's going to be equal to the gradient. So minus 5.2 divided by 4 is equal to minus 1.3. And in terms of our units, we're looking at the rate of change of the depth. So it's going to be centimeters per second. And if we look at that, we've done the height, the rise, so centimeters divided by the run, which is seconds, so centimeters per second. And that's it. So minus 1.3 centimeters per second. And that's it. So that's our estimate for the rate of change of the depth of water at three seconds. And to do that, we just do a tangent to the curve at three seconds and work out the gradient of that tangent. And that's our estimate. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So here's our next question, and we've been given a distance time graph. So we've got the distance and the time. And we've been asked to estimate the speed at two seconds. So feel free to press pause now and think how you'd estimate the speed of this object at two seconds. Okay, so if we wanted to estimate the speed of this object at two seconds, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a tangent to the curve at two seconds. So let's do that to begin with. So two seconds will be here. Okay, so we've drawn a tangent to the curve at two seconds. So that's a tangent to the curve at two seconds. So to estimate the speed of the object, all we now need to do is work out the gradient of that tangent. So let's choose two points on that tangent. So I'm going to choose this point here. So that's going to be the point four. And in terms of the height, it's one square above the middle there. So we've gone from zero up to six in 10 squares. Six divided by 10 is 0 0.6. So we're going up in 0.6 so in the middle would be 27 so that'd be 27.6 there in terms of that particular point there so now let's choose another point on that tangent so i'm going to choose this point here which is the point zero and then we've got three in the middle 3.6 4.2 so 4.2 Okay, so we've got our two points on the tangent. Now we just need to draw a little right angle triangle to work out the gradient. So we've got a right angle triangle. In terms of our run, well, we're going from zero across to four, so our run will be four. In terms of our rise, we're going from a height of 4.2 up to 27.6. So if we do 27.6 subtract 4.2, that's equal to 23.4. And to work out the gradient now, we just need to do m is equal to rise divided by run. So it's going to be the rise, which is 23.4, divided by the run, which is 4. And whenever we divide by 4, that gives us an answer of 
5.85 meters per second because it's meters per second and that's it so we've worked out an estimate for the speed of that object at two seconds and if you got that well done or if you thought about how to approach that and you thought of that method well done okay let's have a look at our next question okay let's have a look at our next question so this is an example that i'm going to do for you and we've got the same graph that we had as question one so this is the same graph we've got the depth of water in a container over six seconds it starts at just over 12 centimeters and it empties out by the end of six seconds and we've been asked to find the average rate of change of the depth of water between one second and 4.5 seconds okay so to do a question like this what we're going to do is we're going to draw plot the points at one second and 4.5 seconds so one second would be here and 4.5 seconds well it's going to be 4.5 would be here and that would be there so we've got those particular points now we want to find the average rate of change so what we do now is we join up those two points with a chord so it looks something like this so we've joined them up with a chord now we just need to work out the gradient of that chord that joins up the points at one second to 4.5 seconds now let's actually read off what the points are so we have got one second and then actually it looks like the height is 12 there so 1 12 and in terms of this point it's 4.5 across and in terms of its height its height is 8 so now we just need to work out the gradient of that line and that gives us our average rate of change so let's do a little red angle triangle and obviously the line's going downwards, so it's going to have a negative gradient. So it's a little right angle triangle. The run, we're going from 1 to 4.5, so the run is 3.5. In terms of the rise, we're going from a height of 12 to a height of 8, so the rise will be minus 4. It's going down 4. So the gradient, m, is equal to rise divided by run. So we're going to do the rise, which is minus 4, divided by the run, which is 3.5. And when we do that, we get our average rate of change for the depth of water. So let's do that. And that's equal to minus 8 sevenths, or as a decimal number, minus 1.142857 and so on, centimetres per second, because it's centimetres per second. And that's it. So that would be the average rate of change of the depth of water between one second and 4.5 seconds. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So here's our next question. And we've been given the same graph, the same distance time graph as we had in our second question. And the question says, find the average speed of the ball between one second and three seconds. So I want you to press pause now and think about how you would find the average speed of this ball between one second and three seconds. Okay, so if I was to do this question, the first thing I would do is I'd plot the points at one second. So that's this point here, the point one nine. So that's the point one nine at one second. And I'd plot the point of three seconds. If we go to three seconds, that's going to be up here somewhere. And that would be the point three. And let's find its height. It's exactly in the middle of those two squares. So it's going at one, two, three and a half. Six divided by 10, which is equal to 0 0.6. So each of the little lines is 0 0.6. So here we're at 18, 18.6, 19.2. 19.8 now we need to go up half a square so it's going to be another 0.3 so it's going to be 20.1 so 20.1 will be the height of that particular point so we've got our two points now we just need to join them up and we just need to work out the gradient of that chord that joins up those points okay so we've got our chord now let's get our little right angle triangle to work out its gradient so there's our right angle the run we're going from one across to three so it's going to be run of two in terms of the rise we're going to do 20.1 take away nine so 20.1 take away nine will be equal to 11.1 so 11.1 so now we need to do m is equal to rise divided by run so the rise is equal to 11.1 the run is equal to 2 11.1 divided by 2 will be equal to 5.55 so that's 5.55 meters per second meters per second and that's the average speed of the ball between one second and three seconds and if you got that well done and that's it so in this video we've looked at rates of change and we've looked at some questions involving rates of change and again i highly recommend the practice questions today because it's one of those topics where it'd be quite useful to be able to draw on the question so today we've looked at rates of change i had this 31 days to go into your first gcc miles paper and i'd highly recommend keeping up with your five a days doing your foundation plus your higher and your higher plus five a days they'll be really useful for you in terms of getting ready that little and often approach for your exam. And something like rates of change will often appear in that higher plus five it is to be given those a shot as well. So keep up the hard work and I'll see you tomorrow for 30 days to go into your GCSE maths exam. Cheers. Bye.